on location with uh, Seth Nickerson, and as you can see, heavy equipment right here, and uh, Seth. And Seth, how are you? Great, Greg. How are you, Ben? How's you, the summer going? Well, going pretty good. Uh, I know things are better because the bag's open and they have cheeseburger soup now, right? No, no cheeseburger soup yet this summer, but it's been, uh, the fried haddock is amazing. Oh. One of my favorite uh, favorite places to get fried haddock. Oh, yeah, no, it's been... Uh, it's been almost a month now the bag's been open. It's been, oh, life is so much better. So you're surviving <laughs> the, the COVID time period and you're still real busy. You, you do a potpourri of products. You do, I do a whole different services rather. Yeah. Rigging, craning service. And uh, we wanted to ask you specifically about the, the cupola at the fire station. Can you give us a play-by-play -play with that? Well, we set the, uh, I set all the trusses at the fire station a couple weeks ago. Um, it's a 60 by 80 building, two piece trusses. And uh, we set that a couple weeks ago. And uh, they uh, they've got it uh, they've got everything closed in now and uh, started to uh, started to put the metal roof on so we set the uh, set a six by six cupola on top it's gonna make it look like a uh, like a great north uh, northeastern uh, big 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 barn it's uh, it's a great looking building up there well it is a good looking building I noticed on the front uh, do you know who this guy Taipar is. Oh, it's classic main siding. Oh God, Typar. He, he, he doesn't makes it, finish anything. He, he that makes guy. it. He makes it all over the place. Classic oh. gray mesa, main siding. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. But uh, the the cupola does look nice up there, and the uh, view is amazing, huh? Yeah. Oh no, yeah. I mean they the fire station got one of the greatest views. You see the mountain from. Yep. Uh, you get the whole view right there. It's a, a fire. It's a great place. Yeah. Now, you got a lot of different equipment here. Tell us some of the. You know, it's not just moving. Tell us some of the projects you're working on. Well, I uh, I jack and move houses and barns and things. Um, I've moved a tugboat inside a building, but uh, I uh, I love to run my crane truck. I set roof trusses. I pick things up and put them down. We uh, I unloaded the the new bull wheel for the uh, for the top of Super Quad a couple weeks ago, and then the uh, the concrete for the new RFID card uh, new season pass card reading right, system. Right. Um, they're going to have one at Super Quad, one at Double Runner Chair. They set up two at uh, over to Wiffle Tree, so you can kind of come in from either end of Wiffle Tree still. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's going to make things uh, it's going to make things a little faster sometimes. Do I you think. think. Do you think the uh, the iris scan is going to slow things down? The iris scan. <laughs> The iris scan. Oh, the iris scan. Yeah. yeah. No, there's no. It's not. It's not going to be a. Uh, oh, it's not like that. No, okay. no, no. It's just going to read your season pass. You're going to be able to put it in your pocket, oh. and they'll uh, they'll take a picture of your face as you're going through first thing in the morning. And, Must be the math. Yes, 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 and make yeah. sure that you're. Uh, and at noontime, they can they can compare your picture to the picture they took of you at eight o'clock in the morning. Right. To uh, to see if you're the same person using your season pass. So it uh, and it'll it should help speed speed things up into the corral and everything. So. Right. It'll be interesting. So that's a fun project. And jacking, uh, you do rigging, crane service, and jacking. Yeah, I have jack you, have, up. Ever, have you ever done car jacking? Uh, I actually, I pulled a, uh, I pulled a pickup truck out of Flagstaff Lake in the middle of the winter time with a crane out. truck. Really? Yeah, my friend was celebrating his divorce um, and blowing donuts underneath the Black Bridge in Stratton. And uh, he uh, he he went in at three o'clock in the morning. So he oh. he called me, and I had to set up my crane, and we uh, we pulled this truck out of the. Uh, out of the lake up there. It was a great, uh, great entertainment. There must've been a hundred people watching us anyways. Is that an official violation? Uh, they treated it like a snowmobile going through the ice. He got, uh, didn't get an OUI or anything. So yeah, they gave him 30 days to get the truck out and we had it out in a matter of hours. So wow. that's a great story. When did yeah. your book come out? It, uh, we'll see. We'll yeah. see. You know, my father was a great storyteller and, yeah. uh, it's one thing, one thing he passed along. So. <laughs> he certainly did. <laughs> well, we appreciate you bringing us up to date and uh, rigging crane service, 265-2651. And remember when you're heading by uh, the uh, complex here, uh, drive the speed limit. What is it? 25 miles 25 an hour. 25 miles an hour. Here, remember that. Down. And we appreciate your time and keep yeah, up no, the great, great work. It's great to see you and Andy. Have a great day, guys. <laughs>